Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Sydney. In this video, we are gonna talk about Mercari and what has sold on Mercari. So for the past two weeks, I have really been trying to focus on being consistent with Mercari, with listing on Mercari and just being active on the app and seeing what kind of results I can get from it. Uh, I have tried in the past to sell on Mercari and I was just not consistent with it. I just, I don't know, I couldn't get into it. Back when I first started selling, back in 2014, I was selling on Poshmark and Mercari had just started. And when Mercari had first started, they did not charge any fees to sell on their app. So you literally could not post anything on Poshmark without like five different people commenting on your listing and asking you if you would sell the item on Mercari because obviously they didn't charge any fees and this person was hoping to get a cheaper price. So it kind of put just a bad taste in my mouth for Mercari uh, from the beginning and it was just really annoying. So um, I have tried, like I said in the past, to get into selling on Mercari and it just wasn't working and then finally two weeks ago I have been trying to just kind of redo everything. I'm redoing pictures, I'm redoing all kinds of stuff in my business just to kind of revamp a little bit. Uh, but I was like I really want to start posting on Mercari and be consistent with it and see what happens and I have been seeing amazing results from Mercari. So I am going to share with you some things that have sold for me in hopes that it will help you. Um, I, again, I'm seeing great results on Mercari. I'm seeing a lot of traffic on there and I will continue to do update videos as this journey continues. Again, very new to Mercari. Um, I have sold some things in the past, but not consistently. But since I have been consistently listing on Mercari, I have been seeing very consistent sales and it's kind of blown me away. Just the amount of sales that I've gotten and the amount of traffic that I've gotten. So I'm going to share some items that I've sold with you today uh, in hopes that it will help you start expanding your business and making more consistent sales. Before I get started, um, if you struggle with sourcing, if you just don't know what to sell, if you are just starting, definitely check out my sourcing guide bundle. Uh, they are three different guides that I have written to help you, to give you a list of things that you can buy to resell. All of these items are things that have sold for me consistently over a very long period of time and they are basically tried and true items. Uh, it also includes uh, trendy items, but items that are consistently trendy year after year that you can look for year round, that you can stock your, your store, your closet with. Um, these are going to help you to make daily consistent sales. So when I first started reselling, there really weren't any educational materials. There were no YouTube videos, no nothing. This was seven years ago. So um, everything that I have figured out has been through trial and error. And, and these guides are what has sold for me uh, consistently and what are my, you know, loyal items that I pick up consistently at the thrift store. So if sourcing is something that you struggle with, definitely pick up my sourcing guide bundle. Uh, I will link it down in the description and in the comments. Again, it's three guides. Um, and then there's uh, also my Goodwill Outlet Guide that is included with that as well. You can also take the Goodwill Outlet Guide and apply it to any thrift store that sells items for very cheap, like for a dollar, 50 cents. Uh, you can take the items that are in there and apply it to any thrift store that you have like that. So definitely pick that up if you are looking for a list of things that you can resell and start making those daily consistent sales. Okay, so let's get into this what sold video. So the first item that I wanna show you sold um, is this 21 day fix shirt. So the 21 day fix is part of the beach body program. And I have a lot of luck selling these like gym, nutrition, um, fitness type t-shirts. Uh, people are looking for these just because they're kind of expensive if you buy them like through the programs and then people are just starting these programs and are looking to get um, merch that's part of the program. So this sold pretty quickly. Uh, it sold for $14. T-shirts are usually pretty cheap when you find them at the thrift store, usually one or two dollars. So just keep an eye out 
for unique things like this. Um, again, like not a huge profit, but this is definitely a bread and butter item that I will consistently pick up from the thrift. The next item that I want to talk about that sold is this Kasik bra. Kasik is the uh, sleepwear and intimate collection for Lane Bryant, and I usually do pretty well with it. So this also sold pretty quickly. I was really surprised that it sold for uh, $22. So. Um, I wasn't really expecting to get that much for it because it was um, it was used. It wasn't new with tags or anything. So uh, I listed it pretty high just to see kind of what would happen. And I was pleasantly surprised to get $22 for this. Um, if you do struggle with pricing, my pricing guide is also linked in the description uh, and in the comments. And you can click on that and read about that if that is something that you struggle with next item i want to talk about is this affliction shirt so affliction is this brand of t-shirts and they usually have pretty uh unique graphics on them so they're pretty usually they're usually pretty easy to spot in the thrift store um, i usually do pretty well with them around 25 to 35 dollars sales um just and they usually go pretty quickly as well so definitely keep an eye out um, this one in particular sold for $28 and it did sell within a couple days of listing. Next is this Torrid tank top. I usually do really well with Torrid items. Um, this one had a little bit of discoloration on one of the straps where it had been washed and the colors had kind of bled through. So uh, I did take $14 for it. I thought that was reasonable uh, considering it wasn't in absolute perfect condition. Uh, but Torrid is a great plus size brand to pick up. It usually sells at great profit margins and they usually sell pretty quickly. Next is this Athleta sports bra that I sold for $14. Uh, it, it was missing the padding out of it so also was not in perfect condition but I got it at pretty low cost so I did take the $14 offer for it. Athleta is a really great athletic brand. It is owned by Old Navy uh, but these items usually sell really quickly. It is a um, a great brand with a pretty loyal fan base, kind of similar to Lululemon, um, but the price, the profit margins are not quite as high as Lululemon, but it will sell consistently. Next is this Spanx tank top. If you ever see anything that is the Spanx brand, definitely pick it up. There is a reason that Sarah Blakely is a billionaire. People just love her products. They are amazing. Um, definitely pick up anything Spanx brand. Again, this is a tank top. She also has like shapewear, bras, all kinds of stuff. So definitely keep an eye out for it. Um, this top in particular sold for $15. Again, they're usually very low cost. Uh, it was used. You can definitely get way more if you find uh, Spanx items that are new with tags. Um, the full shapewear will go for more. The bras usually go for more. This was just like a basic tank top. So I did take an offer of $14 for it. Next is this Athleta tank top. Again, another Athleta item. Uh, the tank tops do not usually sell for as much as the leggings will, uh, but I was really happy to get $20 for this. Again, it's a pretty basic tank top. Um, a lot of people will tell you basic doesn't sell. It absolutely sells. Uh, people love just, you know, solid tops to wear to the gym. They look really nice. Um, and people are really into athleisure right now. So you could wear this to the gym or you could wear this to the grocery store. Um, anytime you see anything like this, definitely pick it up. I do really well with fitness type items. So keep an eye out for things like this. Next is this Lucky Brand top. I just absolutely love this. I saw it in the store and it just has really pretty embroidery on it. Uh, Lucky Brand is a pretty popular brand. Surprisingly, um, I started trying to pick it up here and there whenever I find it um, but I just really loved this uh, sometimes it's really about the look of the item and this really stuck out to me um, and I figured someone else would love it as well I did take an offer of $20 on it which I was really happy with um, it is a tank top and it was just really pretty top that I went with my gut on picking up Next is this airy bra. Again, just a plain black t-shirt bra. Basic will sell, I promise you. If you find something that is a great brand in great condition, 
definitely pick it up even if it is a solid color even if it is basic again unique things will sell too but don't be afraid to pick things up just because they are basic wardrobe staples people are always shopping for these they always want them in their closet people have you know certain things that they like if they find a certain style or a certain brand that they like they will continuously shop for these items so i was happy to get an offer of 19 dollars for this um again really low cost item that i made a pretty decent profit on next we have another torrid top uh again torrid is a great brand to pick up anytime you find anything torrid grab it um, sold this for $23 uh, really cute really great for summer and spring it's got that cold shoulder look to it um, you know tops jeans really anything toward will sell um, I've not had anything toward not sell and it usually sells within a couple days um, definitely a brand that people are actively searching for and looking for and it's just very cute very good quality clothing and people are definitely looking for it. Okay guys, I hope this helped you in terms of maybe branching out to a new platform on Mercari. Um, again, very happy with the results that I'm seeing on Mercari. Um, just, I've been making sales every day on Mercari and it's really, really amazing to see the traffic on there. Um, definitely stay tuned. I will have more videos about Mercari. Um, if you're interested, make sure you are subscribed. If you have any questions, definitely leave them in the comments below for me. And I will see you guys in the next video.